I wasn't particularly expecting to come out today to do any shooting, but um, I just kind of needed a bit of peace. Um, not really sure why, but I'm not getting it here because the A27 is running right next to me. So um, I'm going to go up there. outskirts of Brighton you can see there. That is the A27 which is sort of the main east to west arterial motorway in Sussex. That's what I'm trying to get away from. Going over here, so you can probably just see there's a, a little structure there. It's called the Chattery Monument, so I'm just outside Brighton. Um, that's a monument to the Hindus and Sikhs that uh, died the First World War. So Brighton's well known for its Indian influence, particularly the pavilion and um, you know th those sorts of things. I'm sure you'd know them if you if you saw them. Um, but during the First World War, hundreds of um, Indians, well thousands of Indians and Sikhs fought for us, uh, the Allies, um, and um, hundreds of them when they were wounded they were taken to a hospital in Brighton. Around about 55 died and um, as a result of their sacrifice this monument was built uh, for them. It was unveiled in 1921 but it was started in 1915, so obviously during the war, so I think that possibly illustrates um, uh, how strongly felt it was that they uh, they should have their what they did for us recognised. Um, so again, this is called the Chattery Monument. So Brighton is about four or five miles that way. I grew up about fifteen miles that way. I went to college two miles that way. Um, this is kind of a well-travelled route for me, and that, and um, so uh, I now live about twenty miles that way. Um, but I've never been to the Chattery Monument. Um, there are various roads that go kind of near-ish to it, but there are none that lead up to it. So uh, I'm on a, a public right away at the moment, a, a piece of access land. So that's the only way that you can get to it. So I thought today, my head's a little bit... Um, my head's a little bit busy. Um, and I just wanted to... I'm hoping that as I get further and further away from the main roads, which are over there, and there's one over there actually, but you can't hear it. I'm hoping that I can find some calm. I'm not a religious person at all, um, but I'm just hoping for a little bit of rest over, over there. Sussex is beautiful though, I do love it here. In what's already rapidly becoming a classic Jeff Vogg move. Um, although sunset isn't for, I don't know, another hour, hour and a half maybe, um, I completely forgot that I'm on the South Downs. So ups and downs. So over here there's a large hill which um, I, I'd say I've got like two minutes left, maybe maybe ten minutes at a push, um, before the sun starts to go behind the hill. So um, I'm kind of limited in my options probably. Um, I've been planning on coming here for quite a while now and I kept looking out the window and you can, uh, you can kind of see roughly where this is from, from um, my house um, and there's just been no interest in the sky. There isn't much today but um, I just really wanted to come out.
I guess what I'm trying to do here is just get a really simple shot. As it happens, there's a plane trailing behind the monument right now. Um, but other than that, there's not that much going on. To be honest, the, the only uh, activity in the sky is over that way. There's a bit of wispy cloud and the moon. But over this way, which is west, there's not that much. I think this really illustrates my lack of ability with composition. Um, I just don't really know what to do. At the moment I've got a clear shot through the monument. Sort of lining up the pillars. But um, it's just not that nice. You know what, I'm really, I'm really drawn to what's going over here, so um, going on over here. So um, I think the best thing to do is to move the camera so I can get that in the, in the background. Because the downs go down at this stage and I go, go up over here. That's made all the difference. I should have done that from the start. So here's my shot. I'm on the uh, Canon 600D as always. Well, just kind of just over here. Um, I'm on the uh, 18 to 55 kit lens. Uh, there's no filters or anything. I haven't even got a polarizer on there. So what you see is really what you're going to get. I just did a Casey Neistat and my uh, other vlogging thing fell over. Hold on. This is the view that I'm very familiar with, sort of behind me, so this is the, the South Downs. It's one of the main main routes from um, the south to Brighton, sort of goes along this way. And then Brighton's just over, Brighton's just over here, kind of through the monument. So, um, this is actually a lovely view, I just wish I'd got here just a little bit earlier. So I've just got the, uh, the full height it's actually really nice. I've just got the, the full height of the monument in the kind of right hand third. And I've got the moon just in the sort of top right of the top left third, if you see what I mean. So it's kind of approaching the middle of the shot. Sunset's just kind of pushing its way over the hills. I was hoping that when I got here, I wouldn't be able to hear anything other than nature. I can still just about hear the A27. I can see the main road, kind of the other main road, um, just over there. And it's, um, it's a road that uh, motorcyclists love. So that's what I can hear right now, is just someone gunning it down the, down the road. Scaring the shit out of the cyclists. I'm on ISO 100. At around about, I'm on 18, 18 mil. with a shutter speed of uh, 500. There's a little bit of kind of almost crisscrossing sh um, cloud just over there, so I'm just going to move over. The reason I'm having to do this, by the way, is that um, I got a, a, new, a new tripod and I uh, put an L bracket plate on there, but uh, I remembered everything except the second L bracket. So I've got one on my actual camera, but I don't have one for this. So it turns out I can't use both tripods at the same time. Just checking the focus. This is my normal Achilles heel. I actually got it right this time. So what I'm going to try with this one, I'm going to change the lens. I've got my the longest lens I have, which is a 80 to, two, uh, 80 to 300. I'm going to try and get just the top of the monument. And the moon is actually quite big, so I'm going to try and get one on top of the other. Okay, this can work, but I'm going to have to do something I've never done before. But I'm going to have to do something I've never done before. I'm going to do a bit of focus stacking. Um, even the most zoomed out uh, on this lens, the 80mm, only gets the very, very top of the monument, which, uh, to be honest, without the context of the rest of the monument, just looks a little bit like a garden ornament. So, um, but, you know, I'm going to take it for what it is. I'm going to get that in focus, and then the moon, which is uh, just above it, in focus. So, uh, regardless of whether it's any good, it's uh, here. 
going to try and get. Um, I can go up the hill a little bit here, so I'm going to going to do that in a second. I just got a little a little while more with um, the sun on the the hills in the back. Um, not that much, to be honest. Funnily enough, um, the centre of Brighton looks really nice. It's kind of got the um, the sun is hitting the the 360 tower, and there's a tanker going past. Um, I wonder if I can try that from the side. Hold on. I reckon from about here. I have to do a, have to dodgy bit of balancing on. A, I've got a, an Arca Swiss plate on here, but there's no there's no plate on it, so you could go tumbling to the ground. Oh no, it's all right. It's all right. Anyway. Although this is now too wide. Not too wide, too zoomed. Okay. It's started to get dark enough that um, I can I can pull out the texture in the sky a bit better. But uh, Yeah, if it weren't for the uh, busy road over there, it would be really peaceful here. Funnily enough, one of the nicest things here is, is this tree that you've had in the corner of your shop for about the last 20 minutes. I think if I can get low enough, I can get a nice shot of uh, just that and maybe the bench. There yeah, it is. Going to need some jiggery pokery, but I think it can work. Maybe. I've just dropped this camera, so uh, let's hope it's still all right. Seems okay. I guess this is still the monument. I mean, it's still there, but I'm now shooting this way. Mustn't forget L plate again. So that was um, f2.8, and it's a 14 mil lens. So 1.6 crop. I don't know, 22 mil, something like that. At one five hundredth. Um, focus is always a bit tricky on this because um, it's it's manual, so you don't actually see it. So if that's infinity, let's do it properly. So that tree is about three meters away, maybe a bit more. Try again. Ground's really soft. This one. There's a few bit of wispy bits of hay that. Actually, I think I should try and incorporate rather than avoid. I mean, that's that's that one. I'm going to try and get really extreme and get um, get some of this grass in. I might have to put you on the floor. Comfy. I'm glad I came here. I mean, um, I lived I lived in West Sussex for I don't know 20, 26, 27 years of my 40, and um, to not come to a place like this is um, not the best thing. I think it's time to pack up now.
I don't know what I was looking for on this Sunday evening that made me go up to the Chattery Monument for the first time. And although I essentially just got a small collection of photos that I don't even like, I enjoyed the outing. Sometimes it's not about a tangible product or a successful shoot, it's just about the feeling you get when you're outside alone with your own thoughts and a little bit of traffic noise. I had all sorts of things in mind about what the last shot of this vlog would be. Me essentially fleeing from bees off a hillside did not count among them. But that's what's happening. See you soon. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe and hit the bell thing.